welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I have a lot of cleaning on my to-do list today. I have my usual zone cleaning tasks and I have a few spring cleaning tasks to add to the list. And cleaning the upholstery is something I like to do in the spring when the weather is warm and dry so that the fabrics dry quickly and it's either been cold and rainy or cold and windy, but we finally had a nice day for a change and it started off a little bit chilly, but it warmed up enough to open up the windows and get a few spring cleaning tasks checked off the list and I got started with pulling off all the cushion covers on the sofa so that I could get them back on in the same day and the covers are machine washable in cold water but they need to air dry and even on the warmest days it takes all day for them to dry. You tell me you're scared you think I'm washing all the blankets along with the sofa cushions and since it's such a large load I decided to add two laundry pods and I'm adding a little borax to help boost the cleaning power of the laundry detergent. Both borax and oxyclean brighten and remove stains and you can use them separately or together. And I always like to use vinegar in place of fabric softener and I fill up both the bleach and the liquid softener dispensers and of course I like to add my favorite downy scent beads. the mountain will come to the next honey i'm with you through life and to death changing the sheets is a weekly task that i usually do towards the end of the week i change the sheets on the bed wash the blankets in the living room and clean the laundry room all in the same day and since i have cleaning in the living room i switched a few of the weekly tasks so that i could take care of it all at the same time i wish you could see We have bills due at the first of the month and I had some paperwork to take care of so I have a little bit to tidy up and put away and the mail gets dropped on the counter when we come into the house <laughs> so it just made sense for us to keep all of the paperwork in the kitchen so that it's easy to put away. We converted this kitchen cabinet into a file cabinet by installing this hanging file insert and I'll be sure to add a link to the description box if you want to know more about that. And all the paperwork is now in one place and we can easily file important papers and bills as soon as they come into the house. Oh 
Vacuuming the sofa is part of my zone cleaning schedule and I remove all the cushions and vacuum underneath and it helps remove dust and allergens and of course dog hair. <laughs> and there's a few heavily soiled areas on the arms and front part of the sofa that I need to clean today, but I need to vacuum first. Regular vacuuming helps to keep the furniture looking its best, but oils and perspiration from our skin transfer to the fabric, which attracts dirt and makes the furniture look old. So I try to clean the upholstery once a year to help keep it looking new. And I found that this carpet cleaner works just as well on the furniture upholstery, and I like to use it to pre-treat the more heavily soiled areas on the upholstery. And because the cushions are machine washable, I know it's safe to clean the rest of the sofa, but you should always check with the fabric's care instructions and when in doubt be sure to test a hidden area before you use a product for the first time. I have more cleaning to do in this room, so to get the cushions out of the way, I'm going to put them back on the sofa and cover them up with a blanket. And to make sure that Miss Callie doesn't hop up to take a nap, I'm going to block the sofa with the throw pillows.
Vacuuming the soft furnishings is part of my zone cleaning schedule and I've shared my ideal zone cleaning schedule with you and I will link that playlist if you want to see more of what that looks like. But I try to limit the time that I spend in a zone to about one hour a week and I deep clean one room each week and it takes about eight weeks to clean the entire house. And I generally clean the upper level one month and the lower level the following month. And this week the zone is in the living room but I don't always clean a zone in the same way every time. <laughs> so instead of cleaning the entire living room today, I'm just going to focus on all the soft furnishings on the entire lower level today. Leather needs to be conditioned to keep it from drying out and cracking, so I try to condition the leather a few times a year, but before I condition the leather, I need to clean it, and my husband gets this leather cleaner from a dealership to clean the car seats, and I use the same products to clean this leather chair. I like to use a damp microfiber cloth to clean the chair, but because I'm using leather conditioner today, I'm using a soft cotton cloth to clean the leather, and once the chair is all clean, I'll use another cotton cloth to work in the conditioner. A stranger in the night Take a chance for some romance Don't copy your Because I try to limit the time that I spend cleaning, I'm not going to clean the entire banquet today. I'm just going to vacuum and spot clean a few stains. The sweetest red sheet I'd ever seen. You stand beside me.
but he deserves you That he deserves you Of course, when spring arrives, the dogs start losing their winter coat. So until the weather gets warm enough to give the dogs a bath, I'll be using the vacuum a little bit more often. I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me mm -hmm. But you showed me how to believe Still gets me When I look back I can see There are times when I use the no heat setting on the dryer and there are times when I just hang things up to dry and it was a nice enough day but I didn't want to wait all day to get the couch put back together. So I decided to use the dryer to speed up the process but fabrics that are heavyweight like the blankets take longer to dry than the lighter weight fabrics and the blankets will take longer to dry so I left them out to air dry. Mm -hmm. Cutting the wound in the bleeding heart It gets me And while I was in the area, I took a minute to put things away and tidy up Ooh, na, na, na. Just give me some time cause I need to know That you're staying I wash and fold one load of laundry a day and I try not to wash a load of clothes when I wash the sheets and blankets, but I have a few clothes that I left out to dry from the day before that I need to fold and put away. If I got every word 
I have a load of dirty clothes ready for tomorrow that I need to take downstairs with me and while I'm waiting for everything to dry I can clean the floors downstairs. Cleaning the bar stools was the last of the furniture on my checklist today, and I just used a damp microfiber cloth to clean them as I put them back. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Because it was such a nice day, I decided to add two more things to my list before I finally called it a day. And it's been a minute since I last cleaned Rosie, and the filters should be cleaned about once a month. <laughs> but I can't remember the last time I cleaned them, and I'm just going to use the blower to remove most of the dust before I wash them out with soap and water. I usually remember to clean out the collection tank when Rosie pulls out of the station and while she's busy cleaning I empty the tank <laughs> but I always neglect to clean out the brushes and it doesn't usually get this bad <laughs> but it's been at least two weeks or more since the last time I remembered to take care of it.
I got most of the dust out of the filters, but I'm going to use a little soap and water to get them clean, and the filters need to be completely dry before I put them back, so once they're clean, I'll leave them in the sun to dry. I don't have the patience to clean each individual leaf on the artificial plants that we have, <laughs> and most of the time I just use the blower to remove the dust, but over time they start to look dull even after dusting them off, so they need to be rinsed off with a little water every few months. And most days I leave them out to air dry, but since I have the leaf blower out anyway, I'm just going to use it to dry off the excess water. The dryer only runs for 30 minutes on the air dry setting and I had to run it about three times before the covers were dry enough to put back. And since the dryer was empty, I could put all the heavier blankets in the dryer to finish drying. And the worst part of the whole process is having to wait to put everything back together at the end of the day when all I wanna do is relax. But everything smells fresh and clean and looks new again, which makes it all worthwhile.
Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. It's starting to feel a little bit like spring here. <laughs> the temperatures are still cool but it's warmed up enough to open up the windows and I just have a quick tidy in the living room left to do this morning and then I have some more spring cleaning to do this week. Standing underneath the lights into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down I try to wash the curtains once a year to keep them looking their best and the curtains we have are sheer so they're a bit delicate to vacuum but they are machine washable and curtains get dirty from pushing them aside to open and close them and dust and allergens and odors get trapped in the fabric and if you live in a humid climate mold could also be a problem then I say Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Washing the curtains is easy enough once I have them all down, but getting the curtains down is a process because of the type of curtain rods that we have, and I need to remove the finials on the ends of the rod so that I can remove the rod, and there's a set screw that holds the rod in place, and reversing the process to get them back up is just as tedious. Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight Passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see Once I get all the curtains down, I'll wash them in cold water with regular laundry detergent and I like to add scent beads so that when I hang them back up again, the whole house smells fresh and clean. And once the curtains are clean, I'll just hang them back up and let them air dry. There's no one left but you and me. I only wash the curtains once a year, but I clean the blinds and the inside of the windows about every other month. And something I learned the hard way is that blinds need to be cleaned before I clean the windows. Water and cleaners always seem to get on the windows when I'm cleaning the blinds. And when I'm cleaning the blinds, I like to close them so that I can wipe down all the slats at the same time. And I clean one side and then flip the blinds to clean the other side. And I'm just using a damp microfiber cloth to wipe down all the blinds and windows. And I usually only clean the windows and blinds in the zone that I'm cleaning that week. That way I only have a few windows to do, but because the curtains are down, it will be much easier to clean the windows. So I'm washing all the blinds and the windows on the first level. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground The cracks on the top ledge of the windows are too narrow for the vacuum and too deep for a toothbrush, and I found that a regular old paintbrush is the perfect tool to sweep out the dirt and dust that collects at the top of the windows. Even if the sky is falling down A squeegee is my go-to for a streak-free shine. The microfiber loosens up the dirt from the window without using chemicals, but it's the squeegee that removes the dirt and water from the glass. It's the fastest way to clean the windows, and once I squeegee the glass, I just run a dry microfiber around the edge of the glass. We have to remove the screens in order to clean out the tracks and the glass on the outside, but there's still rain in the forecast this month, so we won't be cleaning the outside today. And we typically don't get rain during the summer, so we usually try to wait until after Memorial Day to wash the windows on the outside. But the patio doors are easier to clean, and there's a nice view out these windows, and cleaning out the tracks on the sliding doors is important to keep them working properly, because dirt in the tracks can get caught up in the wheels, which makes the doors hard to open and close. It's much easier to remove the dirt from the tracks when it's still dry, and I'm just going to use a paintbrush to loosen up the dirt, and then I can vacuum it out with the crevice attachment. And once all the excess dirt is gone, I can wipe out the tracks with a damp microfiber cloth to remove anything that's still stuck in the track. When I clean the patio doors, it goes much faster if I use a large squeegee, but the smaller one is the perfect size for the smaller windows, and it's just easier to use the same squeegee so I don't have to carry around more cleaning supplies.
Direct sunlight can make it easier to see the dirt and streaks on the glass, but it's better to clean the windows when they're shaded from the sun. Cleaning the glass in direct sunlight heats up the glass and makes them harder to clean because when the glass is hot, the cleaner evaporates too quickly and leaves a hazy film on the glass, and the glare from the sun can be hard on the eyes. So indirect lighting is the best way to get the glass clean without leaving a film behind. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? This back door gets a lot of traffic, so I try to clean it once a week, and the dogs go in and out this door, so the lower half <laughs> is constantly covered with nose prints, and keeping this door clean is a losing battle. But without regular cleaning, we wouldn't be able to see through the glass at all. And on days when the weather is nice enough, we like to leave the door open, which helps to keep the glass clean. <laughs> but then the floors take a beating because the dogs love to run in and out all day long. My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told me Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Once the windows were clean, it was time to hang up the curtains. <laughs> but before I hung up the curtains, I needed to clean the finials and the rods. up the curtains seems pretty straightforward, <laughs> but getting the curtains back up is a tedious process because of the spacers that I use. And I just cut cardboard tubes from paper towels and toilet paper rolls into two to three inch pieces, and the spacers make the curtains look fuller and keep them evenly spaced when they're open. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. The sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope
The living room and dining room areas are the most recent updates, but it's been almost 10 years now and the curtains are Target brand, but I don't know if they're still available. And we found the curtain rods at Lowe's, but if you're in the market for curtain rods, I don't recommend this type of bracket. Washing the curtains is not one of my favorite cleaning tasks, but washing all the curtains in one load cuts down on the energy costs, and I'm happy to get it checked off my list. But there are a few more zone cleaning tasks that I needed to do today, and last week I cleaned all the upholstered furniture, and this week I need to wipe down all the case goods and the decorations. And I tossed the microfiber that I used on the windows in the wash, and I'm using a clean microfiber, and I'm just going to make my way around the room cleaning all the decor and the case furnishings. I woke up in the middle of the night And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me Ooh, na, na, na. But you should these jars are full of dried flower petals, and every time my husband brings me flowers, <laughs> I remove the stems and let the petals completely dry before I add them to the collection. And I've been saving them since we first met, and I think I still have all the petals from every flower he's given me. It is hard to share my thoughts Ooh, na, na, na. It's like cutting a wound in a bleeding heart It gets me But I know that you need it all Ooh, Give me 
I usually try to clean one room every week because it's always satisfying to have one room completely clean from top to bottom, and if I don't have the time to clean the entire room, I can break up the room into smaller tasks that I can do in about 15 minutes or less throughout the week. And cleaning my task is a more efficient way to clean, but doing the same task throughout the entire house can make the job seem much bigger than it is. The two cabinets that we have in the dining room are from Target and they're part of the Wyndham collection but I'm not sure if they're still available and we keep all the office and stationery supplies in these two cabinets and I've had several requests for a video dedicated to organizing documents and paperwork <laughs> and it's something that's definitely on my list of things to do. I did reorganize the supplies last year and I'll leave a link to that video in the description box.
Cleaning the table is a weekly task that I try to fit in whenever I can, and this seemed like the perfect time to take care of it. And we spot clean the table after every meal, but I wipe down the entire table once a week. And I switched microfiber cloths to clean the table because I use blue microfiber in the kitchen. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better I like to use green microfiber cloths for general cleaning around the house, and I like to use the blue in the kitchen, but I got distracted <laughs> and didn't notice that I was still using the blue cloths. So fortunately, I didn't have much left to clean, and it wasn't anything that could be a problem. The intake for the HVAC is behind this table and it draws all the dust from around the house to this lower shelf. <laughs> so even though I dust every week, it always looks like I haven't touched it in months. everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I'm getting started in the kitchen today and I just need to unload the dishwasher and take care of a few breakfast dishes and we've had a break in the rain but the weather is still too cold for most of the spring cleaning on my list and the longer days boost our energy and cleaning in the spring is a productive way to burn off that extra energy and a clean and organized home reduces stress and creates a healthy environment and we're more productive when we can easily find things and put them away. <laughs> if you're new here my name is Randy and I live in Southern California 
California with my husband and our two fur babies, Ace and Callie, and I make videos for cleaning and organizing motivation, and I share tips and tricks that I use to maintain a clean and tidy home. And I post new videos every Friday, so if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to take a minute and hit that subscribe button. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. I try to combine zone cleaning tasks in the kitchen with everyday cleanup. If I can do a little bit at a time, then I don't have a big day of cleaning ahead of me. And these drawer inserts hold all of the cleaning brushes that we use in the kitchen. And I sanitize the sponge and the brushes in the dishwasher, and we need a clean place to keep them. Even in the hot time, you and I can weather any storm. I got started and remembered that I wasn't wearing my apron today, and I've had this apron forever. It's a souvenir from one of our trips to Mexico, and I would get it out during the holidays to protect my clothes when we hosted a dinner. And I've been trying to get in the habit of using an apron when I'm in the kitchen, and I even put up a hook so that I would remember to put the apron on when I go into the kitchen, but I still walk right by it almost every time, and I only remember that I need my apron when I start splashing water. When we started switching over to glass food storage containers, I started using these OXO pop-up containers for the cleaning supplies. And the only place that this tall container will fit is under the sink, and it's the perfect size to hold all of the dishwasher pods. And the top keeps out the moisture and the air, and the quick release makes it easy to access the pods. 
The bottom of the microwave is something that I clean when I clean the stove, but the filter above the stove needs to be cleaned on a regular basis, and the easiest way to keep the filter clean is to run it through the dishwasher. It's been a minute since I deep cleaned the stove top and cast iron really shouldn't be washed with soap and having a light coat of oil on the iron provides a protective barrier. But to save a little time, I'm going to wash the grates in the dishwasher. It's something I only do a few times a year and I'll soak the smaller parts in the sink with hot soapy water. I need to remove all the burners and knobs to clean out all the gunk that collects underneath and most of the burners were in pretty good shape <laughs> and it was easy to see that the front burner is the one that I used the most and because stainless steel scratches easily I can't use anything abrasive to clean it but I always like to start with a little soapy water to help loosen things up. And I used a soft toothbrush to get between the cracks and gently loosen the stuck on grease. And because we have brushed stainless steel, I always try to clean in the direction of the grain. But everything seems to crumble around you. But the front burner that we used the most took a little bit of coaxing to come clean and I made a paste with the barkeeper's friend and let it sit while I cleaned the rest of the parts in the sink. Put your trust into us and we will help you through cause we only want what's best, what's best for you. I know that you are having trouble believing right now That everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright I know that you feel all alone in this world, but you have to Put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what is best for you Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you Even with regular cleaning, gunk still settles into places that a sponge or cleaning cloth just can't reach, and all of these smaller parts had fine details that needed to be cleaned with a fine brush. I 
don't think that I'm being that selfish right now. You said yourself you'd be breaking your vow. While I was spring cleaning on the inside, my husband was working on a few projects outside and while he was out running errands, he decided to pick up lunch and I was more than happy to stop for lunch, but the day was full of interruptions and a project that should have only taken a few hours ended up taking all day and I still wasn't able to finish everything that I had planned to. Of course, as many of you may know, we don't eat processed foods as a rule, but I can't resist the occasional double-double. After lunch, I got back to cleaning and remembered that I should be wearing gloves to protect my hands, and the parts of the stove are made from an assortment of materials from cast iron to aluminum, and because the vinegar will discolor aluminum, I just use dish soap to clean up the parts, and even dish soap can dry out your skin. What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight? I can wait, I can wait And remember this We could have been stardust Same world but without us Something made us, made us find each other out there Made us realize we're more than just stardust Ignore this fact if you must To do what your dreams are telling you they're looking for someone like you Cleaning the small appliances in the kitchen was on my list of things to do today and I usually try to descale the coffee maker about once a month and the coffee maker has a self cleaning feature and I wanted to get that started so the cleaning cycle would be done by the time I finished cleaning up the stove. And to descale the coffee maker I just filled the machine with equal parts water and vinegar. The barkeeper's friend loosened up all the grime on the stove and it made it much easier to clean and once all the gunk was off, all I had to do was wipe away the cleaner and then I dried it off with a microfiber cloth. I used stainless steel polish for years, but when I started using microfiber cloths, I realized it wasn't necessary and it's much easier to clean with a microfiber and water spots will show up on any shiny or reflective surface. So once the surface is clean, I just use a dry cloth to buff out the water spots. We are dreamers of the So 
Most of the time I just use a damp microfiber cloth to clean the kitchen. It's non-abrasive and it removes bacteria without chemicals and it saves so much time using one product instead of switching back and forth from one cleaning product to another. When the coffee maker finished its first cleaning cycle, I used the hot vinegar solution to clean up the sink and the vinegar helps loosen any mineral deposits in the coffee maker and then a second brew cycle will flush out the vinegar and any loose deposits. It's kind of strange, don't even know your name. We have glass tiles on the backsplash and granite countertops, so I need to be careful not to clean the glass with products that can damage the stone. And a damp microfiber cloth easily cleans away the grease and food, and then I can use a dry microfiber cloth to buff out the water spots. And for the countertops, I like to use Methods Granite Cleaner at the end of every day. I added this metal relief behind the stove a few weeks ago and I found a suction hook to hang it on so it's easy to remove and easy to clean. I keep a few things that I use the most on this turntable so that they're easy to reach and it keeps everything together and it keeps the oil and the spice mills from leaking onto the countertop. Whenever I clean a room, I always go in one direction and make my way around the room so that I finish back where I started. <laughs> it's much more efficient because I'm not retracing my steps, which help to save time and energy. And I always seem to go in a counterclockwise direction, which is surprising because I'm right-handed. But for some reason, I always go to the left.
One of the most overlooked things to clean is the cords on the appliances, but they can get pretty grimy too. And I attached a cord wrap to the back of the mixer to keep the cord out of the way when I'm not using it. And I found that it helps to wrap the strap around twice to keep smaller cords secure. One of the fastest ways to clean glass is to use a razor blade to scrape off the glass, but I'm using Barkeeper's Friend this time because it was just closer and it does a pretty good job. Dust in the kitchen doesn't wipe off of surfaces the way it does in the rest of the house. It mixes with grease and sticks to the surfaces so that it needs to be washed off. And these glass containers were starting to look a bit dull, so I just use a damp microfiber cloth to remove the dirt and a dry microfiber to restore the shine. I'm To save a little time, I'm going to put all the parts for the coffee maker and the grinder on the top rack of the dishwasher and then I'll wipe them down before I put them back.
freshly ground coffee beans improve the flavor of coffee, but coffee has natural oils that stick to the grinder and become rancid over time, and that can affect the taste and quality of the coffee. So I try to clean out the grinder when I descale the coffee maker. Coffee grounds tend to splash out of the filter when the coffee is brewing, so I try to rinse out the water tank because if the coffee grounds get into the water intake, it can clog up the machine and affect the performance. I use dish soap to keep the sink clean on the daily, but the barkeeper's friend was still sitting on the countertop, so I decided to use it to give the sink a little extra cleaning. You tell me you're scared You tell me you're weak But I know you're stronger Than what you think Putting decorative serving bowls on display gives them a dual purpose, but they can collect a dusty grease that's hard to clean. And since I need to run the dishwasher, now is a good time to clean them. You're afraid. I wish you could see that. I think you're brave.
Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. We've been getting more sunny days but the temperatures have only been in the 60s and there's a few more spring cleaning tasks that I need to do in the kitchen today. <laughs> but spring fever is starting to set in and when the thermostat climbed up to 80 today I had to cut the cleaning short <laughs> so that I could spend a little idle time sitting outside in the sun. Keeping the kitchen clean is my biggest challenge throughout the day and my biggest hurdle is after dinner when I'm mentally and physically done for the day. <laughs> but I also love to pour my first cup of coffee in a clean kitchen and the one habit that has made the biggest difference is putting the dirty dishes straight into the dishwasher instead of letting them pile up in the sink. And we usually run the dishwasher once a day and I prefer to run the dishwasher at night so that I can empty it first thing in the morning but it's not always full enough so I had to run the dishwasher after breakfast this morning and if I can't unload the dishwasher first thing in the morning I always try to unload the dishwasher before I start working in the kitchen I wanted to escape for a while thought that a couple of drinks could ease my mind I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight I know that I need to get myself back in the game someone said your name had a ton of if you're new here, my name is Randy and I live in Southern California with my husband and our two fur babies, Ace and Callie, and I make videos for cleaning and organizing motivation. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I wash the jar for the coffee beans before I refill it with fresh beans and once the vacuum seal is broken, coffee beans will stay fresh in an airtight container for up to a week and we go through coffee beans pretty quickly but we won't be able to use up this entire bag in a week and coffee tastes much better when the beans are fresh and of course it finally occurred to me that we could vacuum seal the beans that we can't use in a week. So after I filled up the jar that we keep on the counter, I split the rest of the coffee into weekly portions and I can store the vacuum sealed bags in the pantry. And when we cut the bag open, we can wash them out so we can reuse them. And because the bags are reusable, it cuts down on the amount of plastic we use.
Some of you may have noticed that I've been using a new floor cleaner and the hose on my Hoover broke and it wasn't worth the time or the expense to try and fix it. The hose that draws the water into the machine was cracked so it was leaving a lot of water behind on the floor, but the suction wasn't that great to begin with and the battery usually died before I could finish cleaning the entire floor. So I wanted to try an entirely new brand and I've been using this new machine for a few weeks now and so far I'm really impressed with its performance. It was very easy to set up and it operates like the other machines that I've had in the past and the battery life lasts long enough to mop the entire floor twice and it leaves almost no water behind so it might be a good choice for hardwood floors. I try to link as much information as I can in the description box but if you have any questions or if you need a link to something that isn't listed please be sure to let me know in the comments. It has a docking station to hold the brush and filter while they dry and the only complaint that I have so far is that it has a built-in battery so I can't store the machine away in the closet while the battery charges. It has a self-cleaning feature to keep the brushes clean and it gives an alert if the brush gets tangled and so far that's only happened once and it was very minor and the machine has a slight delay before it turns on or off but it turns off automatically when the handle is upright and it turns back on when the handle is lowered which is a nice feature to have when I have to stop and move something out of the way or empty the tank. The water tank is about half the size of my old machine and when I first saw the size of the tank I was tempted to pack it up and send it back, but it turns out that running out of water isn't a problem. The machine doesn't seem to dispense a lot of water and it removes all the water from the floor so that it dries almost instantly. I try to pull out the fridge and clean behind it at least once a year. Dust collects on all sides of the fridge and the walls behind the fridge and it's something on my spring cleaning checklist but sometimes it gets done as early as January and sometimes it doesn't get done until the fall. I try to limit the time that I spend cleaning to about 30 minutes a day give or take and then I spend about an hour a week cleaning in one zone and I'll link those videos if you want to see what that looks like but when it comes to annual and semi-annual tasks I try to squeeze them in when I can and I've been trying to find a way to explain my cleaning schedule in a way that's not completely convoluted. Some of the calendar months have four weeks and some have five and my cleaning schedule takes eight weeks and I work on the upper level one month and the lower level the following month working from top to bottom. So if a month has five weeks then I have an extra week to take care of whatever I need to or in most cases catch up on what I need to and this schedule helps me to keep track of what needs to be done.
The fridge has rollers, which makes it easier to move, but it's heavy and I still struggle to get the fridge out and back in again. But it's much easier to push than it is to pull, but trying to keep the fridge straight is a challenge, <laughs> and I always have to stop and realign the fridge with the opening so that I can push it back all the way. Cleaning the coils on the fridge needs to be done a few times a year to keep the fridge running efficiently, but the coils aren't exactly easy to get to and they're not easy to see. And the crevice attachment on the vacuum cleaner is long enough to reach the coils, but it doesn't remove the dust very well. And the paintbrush does a better job of removing the dust, but it's hard to maneuver the brush in the tiny space in order to get the dust out. So I'm using a combination of the two to loosen the dust and vacuum it out. was surprised to see that the grill cover wasn't that bad and I wanted to mop the floor before I put the grill back so I just rinsed it off and set it aside to dry while I finished up in the kitchen. I try to wipe down the kitchen cabinets once a week and I start with the upper cabinets and I work my way around the room and it takes less than 10 minutes to do and I just use a damp microfiber cloth to cut through the grease and remove the grime and I've tried several different intervals for cleaning the cabinets but I found that the easiest way to keep them clean and looking their best is to wipe them down every week but sometimes I can only manage every other week and the color on these cabinets makes it hard to see the dirt until the light hits them at just the right angle but my goal is not to keep things perfectly spotless but I do want to keep the grime from building up on the cabinets because the more grime the harder it is to get them clean again without damaging the finish. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are 
What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? As a general rule, it's better to clean from the top down, and I like to clean all the upper cabinets that I need the ladder to reach first, and once the upper cabinets are clean, I can put the ladder away and work my way around the bottom cabinets. And I just use a damp microfiber cloth to clean the grease and grime from the cabinets, and I have to stop and rinse out the cloth a few times, and I try to wring out as much excess water as possible so that the cabinets stay pretty dry. oven is a semi-annual task and we stop using the oven when we start running the AC <laughs> and I try to remember to clean it after the holidays and again at the beginning of the summer when we stop using the oven. When it's dark from so far away and show us where we are. It really makes me wonder. The self-cleaning cycle on the oven takes several hours and then I need to wait for the oven to cool down so I ran the self-clean on the previous day. So all I need to do now is wipe out the ash that's left behind. And the self-clean isn't completely odorless but it's not exactly overpowering but I do like to open the windows when I clean the oven and I use the regular cleaning cycle most of the time and it's not enough to get the oven completely clean. There's a few splatters that get left on the inside of the oven but the longer cleaning cycles use more energy energy so the regular cycle is good enough. We have KitchenAid appliances and I can't say that I love them. They have great features and I love their look, but there have been problems with every appliance. The enamel on the bottom of the oven is starting to chip off and when we first got the oven the glass on the door shattered while I was making fries. The glass on the door doesn't clean quite as well with the regular clean, so it still needs a little bit of work, but it's much easier to clean than the inside of the oven, and I just use a razor blade to gently scrape off the gunk that didn't burn off.
we have travertine tiles downstairs and when the floors were first installed some of the grout color was washed out in some sections so there are some areas that are darker than others and it can be hard to tell if the grout is dirty <laughs> or if it's just a darker color than the rest of the floor. I usually mop the entire floor once a week and I'll use a cleaner when I do and then I'll usually mop at least one more time during the weekend and one reason I like the wet vac is that it vacuums and mops at the same time and it picks up all the dirty water from the floor which helps to keep the grout clean. This new floor cleaner is so nice to use that I've actually been mopping the floor more than I usually do. It's quiet and it glides smoothly over the floor and because it dries almost instantly, I can mop anytime and I don't have to worry about the foot traffic on the floors. The machine is designed to clean hard floors, but I can use it on very low pile like this outdoor mat that we have in the kitchen. And once the floors are clean, I just need to rinse out the collection tank and put the machine back on the base to recharge, and then I can run the self-clean cycle to clean out the roller. That's all for today. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time.